Hey guys, your boy Virtus here and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 survival horror game series. And in today's video, we are going to be continuing where we left off, working on the level design for the first level for our game. So for those of you that aren't up to date with where we are at the moment, we started to create this very basic level plan and then we just basically made a flat terrain, put the little lake in there. But now what I want to be doing over the next few videos is actually starting to form this environment starting to add all of the different elements such as you know the foliage to make it look really nice the lighting the shed add in some decorative static meshes and even add in some of the gameplay mechanics environmental mechanics even that you know tie in with the environment for example making you have to find the key to actually get into the mansion um, picking up some logs to create a fire so you can see better. Simple little things like that. That's what I want to be going over in the next video. Uh, not in the next video, but over the next few videos so we can actually finally bring the game into like a co uh, coherent form. So, you know, just bring it together and make it as awesome as we can. So, let's jump into where we was before. So, we created a new level. And we just called that level one for now and we basically had a little terrain here we put the lake into it and yeah that was pretty much about it and we built the lighting and there wasn't really all that much else so what we're going to be doing today more specifically is we're essentially just going to be you know taking off where we left off and we're just going to be adding some mountains in the surrounding er um, areas we're going to be blocking out some basic geometry for the shed so we know where it is and just generally you know just getting the main layout done from the level plan now don't forget the level plan is down in the description below if you do want to download it so you can stay up to date with where we are one thing i do want to note as well is that you know this level plan is all completely up in the air at the moment which means it which means it may be subject to change but if i do change anything i will make sure it's included in the video so let's get into this so i'm going to continue working on my on my landscape at the moment i'm just going to quickly you know add in like the mountains and just block everything else out block everything out that i need just so i know the rough shape of the map and then from there later on we can start to add in the decorative meshes for things like rocks trees the shed and all kinds of other stuff so what i'm going to do is i'm going to start off by zooming uh, out a little bit and turning up my camera speed so i can actually start to sculpt in some like uh, mountains I guess just to like you know add some boundaries to the level because we don't want the player running off the edge that is definitely one thing that you need to consider when you're doing level design is just making sure the player can't go off any edges um, just give them like a linear sort of feel to the environment you got to know where they start which would be the little x over here where the player start is and where they're going to end up so we just got to sort of build everything around that so what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be basically adding in some like mountains where the trees aren't going to be and that kind of stuff it's very simple to do i'll show you how to do it so first thing first though we do need to work out exactly where everything's going to go so for example i've got my lake slap bang in the middle there and um, what I need to do now is I essentially need to figure out where the mansion is going to be and where my player start is going to be. So for me, right now, I am going to roll with this, uh, with the mountains being around here. The mansion's going to be in the top right, you know, the sort of survival mansion and the survival, uh, survival mansion building is going to be in the top right. And then the player spawn bit is going to be over here. There's going to be some rocks and trees and like a shed and stuff that's going to be blocking the way. You're going to have to walk around, burn a fire and some other cool stuff. But anyway, back to the project itself. Let's create some mountains. Let's, you know, sculpt the terrain a little bit more. So we did, you know, use the erosion tool to actually make the lake here. But now we basically need to do the opposite of that. And we need to just sculpt it and just make everything make a nice big mountain around the edge a bit like this and the way that we're doing this is we just you know just holding down control and uh, not control we're just clicking and holding it down to sculpt out that's with the sculpt tool selected make sure you're not still using the erosion tool that we used in the last video but once you do that you can start to sculpt the mountains um, if you're doing mountains and that kind of stuff, it's definitely advised that you turn up your brush size so that you can sculpt it a little bit easier. Also, one thing I do want to mention is if you haven't actually seen my landscape video, I definitely advise you check it out just so you can see all of the methods and techniques that we're using. 
and you can really easily bring it into this video. But anyway, so let's keep on sculpting these mountains. So I'm going to get back into position here, keep on making them, and I'm going to go all the way around here. I'm going to make sure I go over to the edge, but I'm going to leave plenty of space for my, you know, player spot start, where the player is actually going to spawn in the level. And I'm also going to leave plenty of room as well for, you know, where the mansion is going to be. We will block it off properly and everything using um, some decorative uh, meshes with like collision and all that kind of stuff. But for now, what I've just sculpted there looks pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and press play. I'm going to jump into this and just see how everything is looking in terms of like size references. Um, to be honest, it's looking quite nice. I can jump around. We've got plenty of space. Um, obviously it's going to make feel a little bit more dense once we actually have like uh, the trees and the rocks and stuff like that in there, but size wise it is looking okay. Also don't forget that I'm going to be, you know, adding this download, well this project in the description, you know, once I get a chance as well so you can copy exactly what I'm doing. But yeah, for now that is looking pretty good. The other one thing that I wanted to cover in this tutorial is adding some basic geometry for the shed. Now if you guys wanted to, you can do some like erosion and stuff on the mountains to make them more realistic. It's entirely up to you. So for example, you could go and use the erosion tool, just go and add it on there and it's going to make it a bit more rocky I guess. And just like, just keep clicking all over it until you know it sort of looks a bit more like a rock. You can see you got those lines on it. Just makes it look a lot more natural. You can do that if you want to. Just play around with it. Sculpt out whatever you want, uh, and it's looking quite nice at the moment. We will also have to adjust the lighting as it's looking a bit dark in here at the moment. But I mean that's a pretty easy fix. So we're going to leave the landscape for now and we're going to go over to the geometry side of things. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create some basic geometry. Um, and the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to go over to place, geometry, and I'm going to place in a little box for now. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I just want to make a little shed. I'm just going to stretch this out to make the walls, duplicate it four times and go from there. Also because I'm working with geometry now, I'm actually going to turn down my camera speed a little bit because you know it is getting a little bit nauseating. Um, you know, we can't move, you know, it's just moving too fast to work with. So I'm going to change this down to something like 4. Once I've done that, I'm going to go back into my geometry editing mode. And from here, I can really begin to work with these shapes. I can move it around, place it wherever I want. And so, for example, I can grab a face here. I can drag it in. And we're going to make it more like a wall. So I'm just going to keep on stretching this out, just like this. So that should be about enough for my shed. What I'm trying to do at the moment is I'm just trying to block out the geometry of this shed and we'll do the same with the mansion later on. But I just want to know where everything is and then we can start decorating it with materials and that kind of stuff. So that should be okay for now. Let me just check if it's tall enough. The way I'm going to do that is press play and then I'm simply going to walk up to it. And you can see it's actually a little bit too short at the moment. I can actually jump on it. You shouldn't be able to do that with a shed. So I'm going to make it a little bit taller. I'm going to press play and I'm going to try again and see how that looks. There we are. That's more realistic. So I've also, no I've also noticed it's a little bit under the ground. So I'm going to bring it up a bit as well, just like that. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this bad boy four times to actually make up the shed itself. With the third one, I'm going to rotate it to make sure, you know, it is where it needs to be. And once I've done that, I'm just going to pretty much drag this over just like this. There you are. And I'm going to grab this side again and I'm going to pull it in manually just so I can line it up. And there we are. So I'm going to duplicate that one more time. I'm going to drag this one over. And there we are, and we'll cut out the hole for that, in, for the door and everything at a later date. But for now, in terms of our shed, that is looking pretty good. I'm going to save it, I'm going to press play, and we are going to see how it looks. So I can't get in there at the moment because there's no door. What I'm going to do, in terms of gameplay stuff, I'm actually going to hide the hexagon key inside of this. So you can see my objective at the moment says find the uh, hexagon key. 
this key is essentially going to allow us to get into the mansion which is going to be all the way over here in the distance so that's what i'm going to put in there and i might also put some food pickups and a few other bits in there as well but it is nice to actually start to form the game start to form the geometry and just you know map out the map i guess anyway that is pretty much everything i wanted to go over in this tutorial play around with your terrain create whatever you want to create have a look at the level plan add your own stuff do what you want but most importantly keep on creating that's everything for this video and i will see you in the next one Goodbye.